Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson with Growth Today. Growth Today is the Gleaner Online's weekly feature tracking how the government is trying to achieve its growth promises. In this week's episode, we'll be looking at how the government sees the diaspora helping it to achieve its 5% GDP growth in four years, the five in four. The details after the break. You work hard. You want to build your business to earn more, be more successful. The Development Bank of Jamaica will help you get there with a business loan, a partial loan guarantee, a voucher for technical assistance. I didn't have enough security to borrow the money I needed. So the DBJ, they guaranteed part of the loan for me. Ask your financial institution how the DBJ can help you. The Development Bank of Jamaica. We help you get there. At 3 million, the Jamaican diaspora is larger than the number of Jamaicans living in Jamaica. It's why successive governments have talked big on how to include them in the country's growth. Members of the diaspora already contribute more than 2 billion US dollars annually in remittances. That's about 15% of annual GDP. Contributions through tourism and philanthropy are unquantifiable. The Economic Growth Council, EGC, which is leading the 5 in 4 campaign, says the power of the diaspora has to be harnessed to help get the growth target. Michael Leachin's council says there's no reason why Jamaica can't leverage the capital and skills of the diaspora like India, New Zealand and Chile. The council has recommended a repurposing of the Jamaica Diaspora Foundation as a public-private partnership to encourage investment in Jamaica. Out of that would flow things such as new laws giving members of the diaspora a special immigration card, encouraging them to get involved in Jamaican affairs. An increase in trade ambassadors as well as establishment of a one-stop shop coordinating agency is being proposed. That agency would address all issues relating to diaspora investors. The diaspora repurposing proposal is among eight major initiatives the EGC feels will help it get the five and four. The cabinet has not yet given its final approval of the proposals, although a signing took place on Monday. And that's it for this week's edition of Growth Today. I'm Jovan Johnson.